Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I'll be doing my All Black starting 15 for the upcoming 2022 season. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Nonetheless, let's get straight into this video. Right, so with the squad announcement only being a few hours away from when this video comes out, I decided why not pick some of the players that I feel could be going into that squad and make a lineup out of them. So for that, we are going to need 15 players. And I hope a majority of them make it into the squad, or else this lineup might be a little bit wonky. But looking through at who I have gone with for the front row, I have gone number one, Carl Tuanokiafi, number two, Cody Taylor, and then number three, Nepo Lalala. So two of the Blues props in the mix, and also Cody Taylor in the middle. Now, this could have easily been changed. There are a lot of class players in the front row currently. And I believe we're going to have about nine front rowers selected in the squad. So there were plenty of options, but I decided to go with these three. In my starting lineup, then the locks, I have gone with a huge amount of experience. Number four, Brody Retallick. And then number five, Sam Whitelock. So between them, they've got a lot of caps. So with the two of them at line-out time, I think that's going to be one of the things that the All Blacks look to do throughout their matches up against Ireland. Use that extra bit of experience to their advantage. And that is why I have gone with those two as my locks. Then for the loose forward jar, I have actually gone with number six, Akira Ioane, number seven. With Dalton Pavali's injury, I am a little bit worried at whether or not he will be able to make it back into the side. So instead, I have actually transferred Adi Savia back to number seven to see how he would go. And the reason for that is because at number eight, I have gone with the inform Hoskins Satutu. So it felt like a good change to make to make sure that I do get Savia and also Satutu out there on the field at the same time. Now the back line number nine, I did go Aaron Smith. I feel like he is the pick of the halfbacks currently. Although it would be quite cool to see someone like a Falau Fakatava make his way into the All Blacks. But it may not be this year that he does get the nod. And with Brad Weber playing as well as he is. And also I assume TJ Piranata will be the other choice that they do go with Falau Fakatava. <laughs> Lau Fakatava may end up just missing out. Number 10, I have gone with Bowden Barrett. There has been a huge discussion of whether it will be Bowden or Richie who does get to start at number 10. For me, Bowden Barrett in those semi-final matches almost has secured himself the spot. But there is an upcoming match between the Crusaders and the Blues. So it will literally be Bowden Barrett versus Richie Moonga. So that one might be the deciding factor of who gets to start the first match up against Ireland. Then on the left wing, I have actually put in a new name to the All Blacks. It would be his debut, but it is Lester Fainanuku. I think he is a very strong option for the All Blacks to go with on that left wing side, and I did decide that I would put him in there. So no George Bridge in my starting lineup, and also with Caleb Clark's injury. It is a question of whether or not he will be match fit by the time the Irish series comes around, but I believe he will be Caleb Clark. So he is another very good option for that left wing side. Then looking through at the centre. So at number 12, I decided to throw a bit of a curveball here. And I don't think this is what they're going to do, but I decided I'd do it anyway. Geordie Barrett is my number 12, ladies and gentlemen. I decided to put him there. The Hurricanes, they've been playing him at 12 for a majority of the season. And that is due to the former Josh Morby at fullback. So I decided Geordie Barrett at 12, and then Rico Ioane as my number 13. Now, Geordie Barrett, the likeliness of him playing 12 is probably about 20%, if not less, for this season. Because they have got David Arvelli, Jack Goodhue, Quinta Pire, Roger Tuovasashek, Alex Nankavel, even Lester Fainar Nuku. And some of those players won't even make it into the All Black squad. So yeah, Geordie Barrett, bit of a stretch, but I decided to go with him at number 12. So I'm editing this video and I've just realised I completely missed the number 13, but number 13 on my list, it was Rico Ioane. Out on the right wing, I have actually gone with Sever Reese, although I think depending on whether or not they decide if Geordie is playing fullback or centre, more than likely we might actually see Will Jordan slot in at number 14 throughout this season, but I decided to go with Sever Reese there at number 14, and then at number 15 to close out my side, I have got Will Jordan as the fullback, but like I mentioned, he could easily slot in at 14. If they do want to have Geordie Barrett, go back to fullback, and then from there in the centres, I would probably put either David Harvelli or Jack Goodtube. That will be the end of this video. I do thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know who you would have in your own starting lineup for the All Blacks in the comments down below, and I will see you all for the next one.